Are you currently investing in either a traditional IRA or a traditional 401k? If so, you could take advantage of something right now that you may not even know is a possibility called a Roth conversion. This is something that if you are going to take advantage of, it is always better to do when the market is down because you will have less of a tax hit now and be able to take advantage of the greater tax benefits of the Roth later on. Now, obviously, I am not a CPA, so this is not tax advice, but you may take this information and do with it as you please. It may be beneficial for you. There is something called a Roth conversion where you can take money that is inside of a traditional retirement account and move it into a Roth retirement account in order to take advantage of the Roth tax benefits. Now, right off the bat, you may be thinking that this doesn't apply to you. Maybe you've got your money in a 401k instead of an IRA. Maybe you have a higher income limit, so you think you are not eligible. But hold on, because there are rules that allow people to take advantage of this that many people are not aware of. This could apply to you. So first, we need to break down the difference in account types and how the IRS looks at these things. Let's start off with a regular bank account. You put your money in, you take your money out, the IRS doesn't wash that. The government does, they track it, they know it, but the IRS doesn't. They don't watch what money goes in and out of your bank account or tax you on it, they don't care. The same thing happens with a regular brokerage account. You put money in, you take money out, the IRS does not care about that. With a brokerage account though, they will watch what happens inside the account. In a brokerage account, you put money into a, uh, into a brokerage account, then you buy stocks, you buy ETFs, you buy mutual funds, the value goes up and you sell, suddenly you've got a capital gain that you have to pay taxes on. If instead you buy something and it drops in value, now you have a loss to potentially offset any gains you might have. So we've gone from a bank account where the IRS doesn't watch it all to a brokerage account where the IRS doesn't care what money goes in and out, but they do care about any gains that take place inside that account. But in 1974, Congress created the IRA the individual retirement account. This would function very similar to a brokerage account in the sense that you can put money in and invest it in things like stocks and bonds and mutual funds and ETFs. But this account was designed to give you tax benefits that were designed to help people save towards retirement. So if you put your money in a brokerage account and then you have a gain, a realized gain, you sell something and you made money on it, you're gonna owe taxes. Not so with the IRA. With the IRA, the individual retirement account, it allowed people to put money into the account and get a tax deduction on it because you're saying, hey, look, I made, let's say, 100 grand this year. I'm going to take five grand of that and I'm not going to touch it. That means I don't get that income, so I'm not going to have to pay those taxes on it right now. While it's in that account, I can invest in things like stocks, bonds, mutual funds. I can sell and rebuy. I can have gains all day long. And the IRS doesn't watch what happens inside of the account. And then later on, once I retire and I start pulling money out of the account, then that's just going to count as income again. So I defer all my taxes until the very end. And then when I start drawing on the retirement account, then that just counts as income. And I pay whatever taxes I owe on the amount of income I take from that account. Fast forward a few decades to 1997 and Congress yet again changed the game and allowed another option, a special type of retirement account called a Roth IRA. The Roth IRA was created in 1997 and went into effect in 1998. These IRAs operate essentially the opposite of the traditional IRA that had been in effect for a few decades. The Roth IRA allows you to put money in without taking that tax deduction. So if you make a hundred grand this year, you take five grand and put it in the Roth IRA, you don't get any tax benefit from that. Again, opposite to the traditional IRA. However, you invest through the years, you buy and sell, the IRS doesn't watch what happens in the account, and then later you start to take money out of the account once you retire. Since you've already paid taxes on what went in, the IRS will not tax you on what comes out. This means that basically when people are deciding between a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA, the main choice people are trying to make is whether I want to pay taxes now or later. Will I owe more on the money by paying taxes now or later? And generally speaking, the longer you have to wait before you start taking money out of the account, the more the Roth account would be beneficial for you because the longer you have for that money to grow. But there's a problem with the Roth account. There are income limits to this. 
A single filer making more than $144,000 cannot contribute to a Roth IRA. And for married, the limit is $214,000. The limits go up for 2023 to $153,000 for a single filer and $228,000 for a married couple. Now, because of this income limit, that means many people have a larger balance in their traditional IRA than they do in their Roth IRA. But that's not the only reason why many people have more money in a traditional account. There's another type of retirement account called the 401k, which was created in 1978. This account operates very similarly to the traditional IRA. Some differences are larger contribution limits and your employer can make contributions as well, considering these accounts are tied to your employer. This means that the tax benefits, again, are identical to the traditional IRA in that you get a deduction for the money you put in right now. Then later when you retire and start drawing on it, then you pay taxes on that money as income. Now we talked about how the IRA has the traditional option like that, but also later they created a Roth option for people. Well, the same thing happened to the 401k. Even later than the IRA in 2006, Congress finally allowed the Roth 401k option, meaning that for some people now, depending on the choices that their employer has, you can use your 401k at work and select the Roth option, which means you put money in without getting the deduction now, then later when you retire and take money out of it, you don't have to pay any taxes on that because you already paid the taxes on the money that went in. So if you're still hanging along with me here, we've got IRAs and we've got 401ks. There are both retirement account categories, IRAs, you can do with what you please wherever you want and 401ks are tied to your employer. The traditional options for each started decades prior and they mean you can put money in before you pay taxes on it and then later when you take money out, you have to pay taxes on it. Decades later, a Roth option was added to each, meaning you can now put money in to the Roth option, pay taxes on it now, and then later when you pull money out, you don't have to pay taxes. Because these Roth options came so much later and are less known than their traditional counterparts, that means that for most people, you've got way more money in your traditional account than you do in your Roth account. Add to that the fact that there are income limits on the Roth mean that many people just think the Roth is not an option. And this is where the Roth conversion comes in. And right now is a time that you may wanna consider taking advantage of this and don't think that you are not capable because this might apply to you without you even knowing. Even if you can't contribute to a Roth IRA because of your income being too high, you can convert your traditional IRA into a Roth. This is sometimes referred to as a backdoor Roth IRA. Yes, I am not lying about this. Even if you make too much money to put money directly into a Roth IRA, you can, if you would like, put money into a traditional IRA and just convert it over into a Roth IRA. You just use the traditional as kind of the middleman, put money straight in, right into the Roth. Now, obviously, if you do this conversion, that means that money is now taxable because if you put money in your traditional account, you get the deduction, then it goes to your Roth, you lose the deduction. That's the point of the Roth. Pay taxes now so you don't have to pay it later. And yes, this even applies to money that you've put into the traditional IRA in the past. So you've got a hundred grand in your traditional IRA. You could, if you want, convert all of that into the Roth IRA today. Obviously the downside is that you're gonna owe taxes on the money you convert. So if you're, especially if you're a high earner, you're gonna owe a high tax bill this year, that may not be something that you wanna do all at once because that's just going to add to your ordinary income for the year and drastically increase your tax bill. So many people, when they do these conversions, they do it bit by bit every year and have a plan over the course of five, maybe 10 years to convert everything from their traditional into their Roth. Now, if you have all of your retirement money in your 401k at work, you may be thinking this doesn't work for you, but there are a couple things you need to check on to see if this is something you could take advantage of. Number one, is any of the money in that 401k from a prior jobs 401k? Because every single time you move jobs, what you may have done is rolled over that past 401k into your new 401k. If that's the case, any of that money that's in your 401k from a prior employer, you can take out and put it in a traditional IRA. And then from there, convert over to a Roth. If the money in your 401k is from a prior employer, you can put it in your own IRA to do with it what you please. 
But there's another option that won't apply to most of you, but I'll mention it just for the few of you that it does apply to, and this is called a mega backdoor Roth conversion. A mega backdoor Roth conversion is an option that applies to people whose employer sponsored 401k allows them to make after tax contributions. Meaning that if you max out and you still want to contribute more to your 401k, your employer has selected an option on the plan that allows you to contribute more without the tax deduction. And if you've already contributed more without that tax deduction, you can take all of that and immediately convert that over into a Roth IRA so that you get the added benefits of being able to control how it's invested. Obviously, if you want to find out whether this is something you can do, the first thing you're gonna do is call up your 401k company, the brokerage account, the, the investment company that manages your employer's 401k. Many times it's like Fidelity or Vanguard or Schwab, ask them if it's an option. If it is, talk to a financial advisor and then also first talk to a tax advisor, CPA, to see if it's something you should take advantage of. And lastly, the question on everybody's mind right now should be, why would right now be a good time to do this? Because that's the whole point about me explaining what it is and how to do it and who's eligible for this is because right now may be a perfect time to do this. Let's use, for example, the stock market and say that you have invested all of your money in your retirement account in the S&P 500. And at the beginning of last year, one year ago, your account, let's say, was worth $10,000. Well, since the stock market is down 20%, that means your account is worth $8,000 right now. But you've got the exact same number of shares in your account, which means that your investment value has declined, but as long as history repeats itself, then those investments in the future will be worth a lot more. If you would have done a Roth conversion a year ago on that $10,000, that would have added $10,000 to your annual income that you would owe taxes on. But doing that right now, since all your investments are worth less, that means that you only pay taxes on that extra 8,000 for the exact same number of shares. So given the fact that the market is down right now and you may be down much more than the broad market, much more than 20%, depending on how you're invested, it could be worth looking into whether you have a traditional IRA or a traditional 401k, it may be worth doing a little bit of digging on your plan and talking to a tax advisor to see if this is something that you should take advantage of because any money that you get into a Roth means that now when you retire someday, you're not gonna have to pay any income taxes on any of those dollars you take out regardless of how much it grows. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.